you can do um yeah hmm. Mm, I'm not too sure. Did you guys know that I have actually never played McDonald's Tycoon and Roblox? I know, it's insane. It's such a classic. It's just like everyone's played McDonald's Tycoon and Roblox, but me, but not anymore. Today, we are fixing that. Today, as you can probably already tell, we are playing McDonald's Tycoon in Roblox. That tycoon over there looks fantastic. I gotta say, whosoever's that is, fantastic job on your McDonald's. But um, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So let's, let's go ahead and begin working. I'm actually very excited to see how they do this. From what it looks like, it's just normal droppers, little cubes. A little disappointing because it'd be cool if it was like little hamburgers or something or like Happy Meals. I don't know, man. But anyways, it's okay. You got to start somewhere. You got to, you know, maybe, maybe like, I don't know anything about making tycoons, but maybe tycoons is just the hardest thing to have it drop something other than just a little brick block like that. But anyways, so far, as we can see, uh, very simple tycoon so far. Everything is very standardized, nothing too crazy, which is all right, you know, I can dig it. So we have $47 and we are looking for another $23. And then we can get that drop up and we can get, oh, that guy, he just lost all his tycoon. I liked looking at it. I liked looking at the cool big McDonald's building. Well, now we're gonna have to get one for ourselves. Once we do that, then we can look at our own tycoon. How nice will that be? So we have enough for the next dropper. Let's go ahead and get that one. Feels like there may be some, a little bit of slow progression here, but that's okay. That's all right. That means more tycoon for you guys. All right. So it looks like the this dropper is maybe worth like $2 a thingy, whereas this one is only $1 a thingy. I'm not entirely too sure, but so far it looks like we are Earning money at a, you know, it's a, it's a fairly slow rate. It's kind of, you know, it's okay. But then we're going to be start. We're going to like, eventually we're going to be earning money like crazy because McDonald's buildings actually do amazing. So I actually have a friend whose parents own a McDonald's and um, it is doing very, very well. It's insane. McDonald's, if you own a McDonald's restaurant, you get so many customers. And so what we're going to do, we're going to try to take that real life example and translate it into Roblox. And we're going to make some crazy money. We're going to get some crazy McDonald's cash right here in Roblox. All right. So we actually already have enough for the next dropper. I actually thought it would take way longer. All right, cool. <gasps> Ooh, and we can get a colorizer and materializer. That means we could make it look more like McDonald's. We can make it look like burgers or patties or salads, <laughs> we eat salads at McDonald's. Or the very watered down soda, that would be a good one. Okay, so we can, oh man, I'm excited. All right, here we go. We can get an upgrader really soon here too. And we're gonna get all that cash, all that sweet, sweet, mm, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, this guy's actually building up his McDonald's pretty quick now. He's earning some good money. He's able to build those walls real fast. There's even a drive-through. <gasps> Is there a drive-through? That would be so cool if there's a drive-through. Oh man, and I wonder what these roads lead to you see how there's like these little roads that come out on the side there I really want to know is that does that go to a parking lot or something? Do you make a parking lot? Or is this the parking lot? This has to be the parking lot. I don't know, man. I don't know what those little side roads lead to. I'm really excited to see what this tycoon has to offer. Okay, here we go. Oh man, I just want to start earning money already. We actually have enough for the upgrader. What do you know? Oh, poof. There you go. There you go. We getting some of that sweet cash. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. All right. How much do we need now? We have, let's see, we have... We have a thousand dollars waiting for us. Okay, hold on. So if we have a thousand dollars waiting for us, what's the next thing we should get? The mega dropper? I guess so. I guess so. Just get the mega dropper drops right on in there. It just goes poof. No conveyor. No conveyor needed for this mega dropper. Mm-mm. All right. And now the next things we're gonna need to get, we're probably gonna need to get the walls because then that's gonna allow us to unlock the next stuff. There's probably gonna be like conveyors within the McDonald's and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. We can actually get it already. Oh man, we're gonna get the walls. We got the first walls though. There's gonna be, yeah, you see there's gonna be some progression 
section here. Okay, cool. So is this where all the money's gonna be coming from? It's just these conveyors here, and then we're just gonna have to wait for the money to build up. All right, all right. And then we have the colorizer and the materializer. So what would, would I rather, I'd probably rather have the colorizer first before the materializer, but more importantly, I'd actually rather have the window frame. Man, this guy's McDonald's is being built up quite quickly, actually. Not too bad, he's doing a pretty good job. Oh, wow, you know, we're actually getting money pretty fast. Look at that, you know what, that's not too bad. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We may actually be able to get this stuff fairly quickly now. We can already get the window frame. Oh, man. Then we can get the windows for $750. Okay. We only need another $400. $400. And then we can get... The gl Do you know how expensive glass is to get the window frame? Man, $750 for an entire restaurant's glass. That's just unheard of. But in Roblox, I guess that is a norm. But in real life, that would be like thousands and thousands of dollars. Okay, there we go. 740. We just need a little bit more. There we go. 750. We actually have 783. You can't see because of my webcam. And I'm very sorry about that, but it's okay. I will make sure that I verbally announce exactly how much money we have. Currently, we have $33, but soon we will have $500 for the second set of walls. <laughs> hey, that guy left. He didn't even finish his McDonald's. Oh, man. Okay, okay, well, that's all right. Um, I guess I will have to be the one that shows the example for everybody else. So we got the next set of walls there, and then we can get more walls, and there's a pillar over there, and there's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna have to get. Okay, cool. I usually like in Tycoons when there's a little bit more progression in terms of money making, because here it kind of ends very quickly. It's very easy to get the initial stuff that you need, and then to start building stuff, but that's okay. Just very gradually, we're gonna be able to build up this McDonald's, and it's gonna look real nice all right oh actually i only need 500 for the next set of walls so let's go on ahead and do that bam all right oh ooh, buy a sign post yes absolutely absolutely oh man look at this this is insane wow all right this is already looking very good. Here we go. How much money do we have waiting for us now? So we have $570. That means we can already get, oh, we can already get the sign. Oh yes. Oh no, we need the McDonald's M on there. That's the most important part is the M. Did you guys know? Okay, this, this, I feel like this recording, a lot of it is just gonna be me saying these random facts that I know about McDonald's, mainly because I had a very close friend who, like I said, um, her parents own a McDonald's, and so I know a bunch of random stuff about McDonald's. Um, I'm not some like crazy McDonald's expert, it's just like funny little things that I know here and there. Uh, one very interesting thing is apparently the signs just put out front, um, like say you're driving on the road and then there's a giant McDonald's sign in front of the restaurant, those are so expensive. Like just for the sign, it's there's nothing so special or crazy about the sign. Those are like $30,000 just to get the sign in front of your McDonald's restaurant. At least I think. I'm pretty sure that's the right number, but I could very well be wrong. So don't take it to heart and don't like, it's, it's not like some crazy big secret or anything, but it's just, I mean, I don't know, man. Don't take my word for any of these things, just in case. But I just thought that it was kind of interesting. Oh, get a McAfee sign. Yes, please. Wait, where did it go? Where's the McAfee's? Oh, there it is up there. I still need the next set of, uh, I need the roof up there. Okay, now I can get the pillar for 750. Okay, I will try to be as accurate as I can with my McDonald's facts, but for all I know, I really might have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's get the pillar next. Yep, yeah, there you go. Ooh, hey, not too bad. It looks pretty good, actually pretty good indeed. I mean, I could go for some McDonald's myself right about now, wow. I really need to stop playing tycoons that are food related whenever I myself am hungry in real life, because I don't really have I don't have anything to, I don't have anything to eat. I don't know why I like looked to my side to see if there was just magically food there, because there usually never is, but every now and then, every now and then there may be. 744, ooh, I need a 750, there we go. Okay, $817 now. Um, What was this over here? That was the entrance, $1,000, I see, okay. Man, I'm excited to do like the interior of the McDonald's too. I wanna see how, um, how accurate the person, like the, the creator of this McDonald's was. From what it looks like so far is it's like, it's pretty accurate, you know, like even like the wall panels here, everything's like ever so slightly, you know, like there's a little bit of depth in here. Very, very nice touch, makes it look very realistic. Ooh, fantastic. Let us get, <gasps> we could get uh, roof one and then we can get roof two very soon here. Oh man, our McDonald's is being built up right now. This is some good stuff. 
But you know what, let's get the colorizer. We're gonna need to get the colorizer so that we can make it look like patties. Oh man, there you go, it's beef patties. Beef patties for the burgers. And then you know what else we can do? We can make it a little more. Okay, so that's, that is beef for the patties. And then that is gold for the buns. And then it's more like a brown. The buns are kind of like brownish, goldish, beige. More like a beige. But anyways, that is then for the lettuce. And then, hmm, what else is in those things? Oh, for the mayonnaise, of course. They just load their food with mayonnaise. White mayonnaise. And then let us go back to the patties. I think the patties are the most appropriate thing for sure. Now we have a sweet, sweet $1,000, meaning we can buy the second roof. Hey, eh, there you go. So what exactly, what did that add? Oh, so it's just like another height to the roof. I see. Okay, very nice. And then another thousand dollars and we'll be able to get the third roof or we should get the entrance. I'm not entirely too sure what we should get first because I also want to see what all this stuff is going to be on the side here. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, well, I really want the entrance. I want to see kind of like what that adds to the middle part here. Hello, sir. So how is this going to work? I really feel like, so this is probably going to be the drive through over here. It's going to be the drive through It's going to be the kitchen over here. And then all the seating is going to be out front here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Let us go collect another at least $600. So if we have $600 waiting for us, then we can go and start on the entrance. Oh, we do have $600 waiting for us. However, though, I kind of wonder, should we get the third roof just to really finish off the front? Nah, nah, it's okay. We'll go for the entrance. We will finish off the roof very soon. Don't you worry. Okay. Let's get the entrance. Bam. Oh, whoa. That looks nice. Floor carpet. Wait, is there carpet in McDonald's? No, no, there's no carpet in McDonald's. They use gray tiles. They use gray tiles. I do not remember there being carpet. Oh, this man tried buying it for me. I'm sorry, sir. You can't, you can't just buy stuff for me. I'm going to have to do that myself, but you can do that at your own tycoon, which I believe is over there. That poor man. So confused. Okay. Oh, and then in a second here, I will have enough to finish off the roof. Bam. All right, here we go. $1,000 and I can now buy the roof. Let's see exactly what this does. Boop. Ooh, hey, that looks pretty good. You know what? I like it. I like it indeed. That really finishes off the McDonald's. Yeah, it looks very good from the outside. So this is good stuff. Okay, cool. You know, as I said at the beginning, how I really wanted to make sure I was the one setting the demonstration for everyone else who's joining this server. Well, you know what? It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty spiffy, I gotta say. That person's building theirs up pretty pretty quickly over there, so I mean, it's not like I'm setting any crazy example, but anyways, yeah, you know what? This is pretty good, I like it. Okay, we actually have almost enough for the floor carpet, and I'm interested to see what that looks like because I don't think McDonald's uses carpet, but I'm not entirely too sure. And in a second, we will have enough. Boom, there we go. We have $1,000 and I believe, oh, McDonald's sign. <sighs> Mm, let's go with the carpet. I really, really wanted to see what the carpet was like. So let's go and do that. And then we will do the McDonald's sign. Don't you worry. Okay, floor carpet. Bam. Whoa. Uh, this looks very good, actually. This looks very nice. I still don't think this is what, unless there's like different McDonald's designs, there's different like things you can do. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm not too sure. 750 bucks for the chairs. And then there's the pillars and stuff as well. Man, there's a lot of stuff to buy all of a sudden, actually. So if we build all this up, then we can do a bunch of the interior and it'll look super great. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I took a bit of a break. Wanted to let it build up a bit. Oh, wow. $6,700. That is, wow. Okay, that is a lot. So we can actually get quite a bit with that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the McDonald's sign out here. <gasps> Ooh, that looks good. Oh man, that really, that was a nice finishing touch there. Do actual McDonald's buildings have a big sign like that? I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they do. I'm not too sure. Okay. Now we have $5,800. We can go on through here and buy a bunch of stuff. Bam. Ooh, chairs and tables. Man, we're definitely going to want a bunch of these. Uh, by the counter. Ooh, of course, we're going to want the counter. <gasps> oh, wow, man. You can get everything in here. So you get the counter design, then the cash register. Oh, wow. And then look, can we even, oh, can we order food? Except, oh, wow. You can, can you make stuff? Oh, buy a cashier. I see. Ooh. Oh man. There's a bunch of stuff you can get. Oh man. This is good. This is good. 
the inside of this roll of this of this Roblox McDonald's is gonna look real real nice. Everyone's leaving. No one's actually uh, trying to make the full McDonald's, huh? Okay, we have uh, $1,400 waiting for us. Very good. We can actually already with that buy some good stuff. You know what? Let's get the materializer while we're at it. Why don't we go on ahead and make these actually look like beef? Uh, this is probably the closest looking thing to beef. There you go. It's got a nice little material there. Now that is some beef patties because McDonald's is obviously going to need to be making a bunch of beef. But at the same time, we can also make French fries. What here looks like fries? Ooh, that kind of looks like fries. Oh man, those. Now those are French fries right there. Man, McDonald's French fries are so good. Oh wow, I, I can't believe how good they are. Okay, here we go. And some delicious beef. Back to the beef. Okay, we have enough to start buying a couple more things for the interior. Um, let's see though, what exactly should we get? Oh, oh, there's something over here, what is this? Buy parking lot, 1500, um, yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. Boom, oh man, nice, really finishing it off. Is there any sort of buttons over here? I wanna, I wanna know where this road leads. There has to be a reason this road is here. I'm not too sure why though. Oh man, I'm not too sure. Oh well, okay, anyways. Let us go on ahead over to uh, the thingy. There we go. Okay, buy a drive-thru. $5,000 for the drive-thru. I mean, we definitely need the drive-thru. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely gonna need the drive-thru. Maybe that's what that road is for. It's gonna do like a big loop around and we're gonna get the drive-thru. That would be pretty good. Um, let's go on ahead and I guess in the meantime, we still got to work on the interior. Let's get a nice cashier, you know, so that maybe whenever people are coming to the McDonald's right now, there's at least a cashier to already help them. That'd be pretty good. I'm going to need one of those. Bam. There you go. Hello, cashier man. Hey, he looks like he's enjoying his job. Not too bad. Okay, cool. Well, just got to wait for the money to come up a little bit more. Uh, $800. Okay, so we got $1,400. How much is cash in this tycoon? I am curious. Let's say, for example, 20,000 cash. How many Robux? It's like like two bucks or not two bucks like 195 robux it's probably gonna be like about two dollars huh okay interesting i'm just kind of curious i kind of i'm curious as to how much these uh these robux developers charge for tycoon related things because i usually don't buy um I usually don't buy things with Robux and, ty and Tycoons because the whole point is like the whole build-up process. But say in a situation like this where already the progression is over, the actual money progression is over and now you just need more cash to buy things, um, that's when I, it kind of makes me wonder, okay, maybe, maybe I could just, you know, I want to see what the rest of the stuff is. So, uh, you know, a little bit of help is always not too bad. So, you know, why don't we go on ahead and we will get... We will get 20,000 cash. Let's go ahead and do that. Just help us out a little bit there. Okay, so now we can get stuff like the drive through right away. Oh, whoa! It does, it loops around the entire building. That is so good. Oh man, that is awesome. Oh wow, I am so happy with that. Wow, I like that is that is good. That is good. I like it. I like it indeed. Okay, very nice. So what we will do then is if we come around and we uh, we get a like let's see if there's anything on the side here. So yeah, you go through the drive through, you loop around there. There's got to be like, can you make can you make the sign where you order your food? We're gonna go around. We're gonna go to the front and we're gonna get some more chairs and whatnot. And uh, ooh, we got we got some nice thirteen hundred dollars waiting for us. Not too bad. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Um, chair and table. We're gonna want to get a bunch of this stuff, but you know what? We also want, ooh, yes, pillar. Actually, that'll definitely help out. Get the nice couches. Ow, that just smacked me down. Oh no, am I stuck? I am stuck under the table. Help, <laughs> help. Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh no. Oh no, I am actually stuck under the table. Help me. Oh, there we go. Wow, I actually got out. Let's go on ahead and get more cash registers. Oh, buy a ramp. Yes, please. There we go. Nice little ramp. Get an employee to help people out. There you go. Not too bad. All right, nice. Get another cashier. Let's go along with the cash register. And what else? We're going to want more chairs and tables. There you go. It actually went down now. And then another chair and table right there. 
very nice. So the interior is looking quite good, quite good indeed. Ooh, and then we're gonna actually get some more stuff to get here. Okay, there we go. I really like these booths. Like when I go to McDonald's, I really, really like sitting at the booths with my friends and then you got the nice comfy seats. It's good stuff. Okay, ooh, inner wall. Okay, we need another cashier, then we need the inner wall. <gasps> Whoa, there's still so much stuff to buy. Okay, display monitor, yes please. And then an employee door. You know, we are gonna need all this stuff. Okay, you know, actually, we will be able to afford all of it. Whoa, man, that is good. Man, this is so cool. You got all the display monitors up there. This is a very fancy looking McDonald's, I gotta say. It's looking pretty good. Oh, and then you can get all the stuff in here, the freezer and the fryers. Oh, man. Oh, nice. This is everything I could have wanted from this McDonald's tycoon. This is perfect. Okay, nice. Let us go on over here then in that case, and we are going to cook up some delicious money. And by cook it up, I mean pick it up from the money machine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Man, this is good. So let's go on ahead and put some money into the kitchen. So the kitchen, we definitely gonna want the fryers for sure. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, more fryers, yeah, absolutely, why not? Then a freezer, oh man, for all their chicken. What about for their beef patties though? Because they do produce a lot of beef here at McDonald's. Um, well, we only need the one more freezer and then we'd have to just go collect money. Well, I don't know, I would have to say that uh, this is a pretty, this is a pretty finalized tycoon. Like I'm actually surprised how far we've gotten with this tycoon. It's pretty good. We kind of cheated a little bit. I did buy some, uh, did buy some cash. But anyways, this is a pretty good looking McDonald's. This definitely has fulfilled everything that I wanted from whenever I first walked into this tycoon. So you know, it's pretty good. I'm happy. So on that note. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me for another Roblox adventure. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, be sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more daily Roblox adventures. Don't forget, you can get that shirt just like this one right here, DennisDaily.com, or there's a link in the description. It is a very nice shirt. It doesn't take very long to ship, so go on and check it out. Not too bad. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next adventure.